I frequently get asked why my pallet wrapper isn't working by distributors and customers. Now, the main cause of this issue is the film carriage. Now, I've duplicated the problem here by putting something up under the film carriage. There is a limit switch under there which, when engaged, will shut the machine down fully. So, once, once the film carriage has gone all the way down, I can't move or guide myself around the menu screen. So what we have to do, always turn the power off when you're working on machines. Guys, as we come around here, we get under the film carriage, there's a little 10 pin connector. We unscrew him, which removes all electrical signals to the film carriage. Now, we go back around to the machine, switch it on, now, I can navigate through the program menu. So I'll go back to the program stage, two for program, two for manual, two for up for the film carriage. You'll see the film carriage is raising up now. Once I get it a good distance off the ground, hit two again. Remove the debris from underneath the film carriage that was causing the issue, or in the event that the limit switch wasn't adjusted properly, this will need to be adjusted around here. So quite often the limit switch will be down and the arm will just need to be put out so this part of the film carriage can engage and stop it. If the limit switch has slipped too far down, you can loosen that, lift it up a little bit so it gives you clearance from the ground. Right, once you've determined that, that was the issue, you've cleared underneath it, you've set the limit switch, plug the machine back in. Okay, now once plugged in, you can turn the pallet wrap back on. Escape a couple of times. Two for program, two for manual, three for down. This will drive the film carriage down. It should engage the limit switch and stop before it hits the bottom. Perfect.